Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? Hope y'all had a great day. It's been a great day. It's Friday. Time for the weekend. It's a little chilly here, Mama said. Mama, tell them how cold you are. Cold to the bone and back again. That's what she said. And I said, Mama, I don't taste some chicken and dumplings. We got that chicken. She said, well, we'll fix that. Well, as the day went on, well, tell them what you said. I ain't fixing it's, them now. It's too late. I got off from work. It's almost 7 o'clock. So. She said, I ain't fixing them now. No. And she said, well, that's on another day. And she said, what do you want to have? And she said, I want some hot soup. I said, how about chicken noodles? She said, that will serve the purpose. It will get rid of that chicken I've done got cooked. Yeah. So at first you don't get what you want, get what you need, which is some hot soup, Mama said. Yeah, it's cold. And this is so quick and easy. Um, I like to make chicken noodle soup. And we just happened to have that penne pasta left over. And I thought, that'd be a good chance to get rid of that. This is a clean a, up. Clean out the refrigerator meal. Right. So we've got that left over. We've got chicken left over. We're going to put it all to good use today, folks. We're making homemade chicken noodle soup. Can't beat homemade chicken noodle soup. Oh. Uh, the only thing that could be any more. Well, I don't know anything could be any more um, comfort foods than chicken noodle soup or chili or roast beef soup. You know, um, what do you call it, beef stew? Roast beef soup, you know. What you make out of roast beef after it gets a day old? Beef stew. Beef the stew. This is going to be good, though. I've been kind of in the mood for chicken noodle soup. And when I was sick, y'all said, John, you need some chicken noodle soup. And so... This will be my, maybe this will keep me from getting sick. Who knows? I'm just down here cutting up some carrots now, folks. You can see the chore board there. These are just baby carrots. You can use whole carrots. I use big carrots a lot of times because I like the flavor of them. I like the chunk. I like a big old chunky carrot in my um, in my uh, soups. And that's the reason I'm doing carrots right now because Mama's got the pot over on the big stove and she's heating it up. She's going to get it to boil. We're going to bring it over here on this little eye and it will cool down a little, I'm sure. Even though I got it on scorch, got it on high. But I'm going to cut up these carrots because they're going in first because they'll take a minute to soften. And We're it's, gonna have carrot soup. Oh, Mama, you, what do you got against carrots? You don't like them in your cold slaw. I eat carrots in my. I know, but you remember that. You remember that time? That was carrot slaw. You made so many. But this ain't gonna be carrot soup. Yeah. That ain't too many now, Mama. That ain't a good cup. That is a good cup. Do y'all think it's too many carrots for a big old pot of soup? It ain't. Oh, Take these over there and quit this and put them in your pot while that water's <laughs> well that uh, broth it's broth it ain't, it ain't even water put them in your pot mama mama likes to fuss at me sometimes just for fun just because she knows she can if she wants to that's the truth uh, this is some celery. It's been in there a minute, but I'm using all that, folks. This is a good time to use those hearts that you probably don't eat. Thank you, Mama. Those hearts that you probably don't eat with anything because they really don't hold peanut butter. Um, but you can go ahead and chop them up in your soup. Do them leaves and all. This is a good chance. I save leaves sometimes for vegetable stock, and I save leaves for soups. And you just chop them right up in with your celery. And it makes a wonderful flavor. There's tons of flavor in them celery leaves, folks. And you don't want to miss that flavor. And there's no sense in wasting it. It costs too much. Mama might have an opinion about how much celery I used to. Y'all think? This is not a written down recipe. So I'll just give it to you as I do it. So y'all will know. So we're going to call that a cup of carrots. I use one quart of homemade homemade um, broth that come from the chicken that mama cooked. So it's just homemade broth. And we're going to save enough chicken and we're going to save enough broth for them dumplings. That may be a weekend thing. Uh, we've not had dumplings in a spell. And this chicken noodle soup certainly will not take the place of some dumplings. 
And so hopefully we'll see you in the notion tomorrow to make some dumplings. Um, the weather tomorrow is supposed to be nice. And we might work outside. So if we work outside, there won't be no dumplings. Y'all seen Mama you the other night. Chicken. Uh, Bullions. You, I know you want it, but how many? I can't Put get two. Me. Can't get my tongue to Put work. two. And these are just little Amish bullions that we get from the Amish. I don't know where they get them. I don't know if they make them or what. I guess they do. I really don't know. I bought them at the Amish store. So those at the Amish store. And they come in this little container. And this is just the little bullion. They're soft, though. They're not real hard. So they do real well. We've had them for a spell, but they are great. So what are y'all cooking tonight? Is it the right time of year for soup? Can you have soup in the spring? First day, first week or two of spring and we're doing chicken noodle soup. Yeah, but we don't really go by the seasons on what we eat. We'll eat chili in July. We'll eat soup in July. You're going to have a hot meal. It's a hot meal. Fourth of July, you have hot dog? Hot dog chili, but we'll have bow chili. Mm -hmm. Ain't no shame in our game. So what are y'all eating today? I know some of y'all are jealous of my culinary cutting skills here. That make fun. You get the job done. That's all I'm really interested in. Is getting it done. Putting my little leaves out. This is just a Tupperware storage container. It's great for celery. I love to put celery in it. Now I'm picking out all those leaf pieces just to add them in there. Because Honestly, I probably won't do anything else with the leafy pieces other than super stock. They're not good on sandwiches, I don't think. But they are delicious in soup. Hello, Maggie. Maggie's come to visit. She's come to check on us. She's scared She's scared that we're going to eat without her. She's calling me around. She has been so needy here lately. For the past two weeks, she has had her need turned on high. It's like I need human contact at all times. Um, she does that sometimes and then she gets to, she don't want, she's almost like a house cat. She don't want to be messed with. She'll go hide somewhere and then other times she's right under your feet. So that's Maggie for you. She's going to do her thing. Um, I wish she could talk sometimes so I could just say, Maggie, what's going on? Maggie, what's your turn? She does tell her mama when she gets on to her. I always get the blow down. I get the yodel. When I get the yodel, I know mama's been mean to her. Probably wouldn't let her get out in the road or go to the neighbor's house or mess with her fur babies or something. She's always guilty, but she's innocent in her mind. Do y'all have fur babies like that? She's really guilty, but she plays off innocence. That's the way they do, folks. That's the way it is. Now that's about a cup and a half of celery, leaves and all. And I'm going to put that in the pot. You going to bring it back over here? It's boiling. Well, I'm going to put this in here because it'll cool way down when I add this. Closer. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. We'll do that, then. Mama said, don't mess with me. I've got a system. So let's talk. What y'all up to? What's going on in your world today? Is the weather kind of icky today? It's a little overcast here. A little bit of rainy. A little bit. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, KK. How are you? Hey, Barb. I wish my little fur baby could talk all the time. I know, sure. Wouldn't that be great? I don't know. They might say stuff we don't like. Might be like a kid. They might get out in front of people and, and embarrass us. Wouldn't that be funny if they got out and said, hmm. <laughs> you know, fur babies know a lot. They're kind of no, um, there's no off limits for them. Usually we just let them roam and go. And they hear our secrets. They hear, be worse than you know who of their listen to everything. I don't want to say her name. She'll start chatting. And she won't hush. She just keeps on talking. <coughs> this onion had a little moldy spot on it, looks like. I'm just going to cut him off. Because I'm chopping him all up tonight. <coughs> I don't know. That don't look too good. But the rest of him looks fine.
pretty as an onion. Look at that pretty onion. I'm just going to chop him up here. Get him all nice and diced. Can y'all see? <coughs> Get him all nice and diced. Mama's using this hot plate as a warmer. Yeah. Mama, do you want me to go outside and build you a fire? You got a fireplace in there. You going to start the fireplace up in well, I don't want almost it April? Hot. I don't care if it's July. I don't want to get it too hot on you. Well, Mama, it's 70 something in here right now, so. The heat is on. It ain't like we're sitting here with air conditioning on. Mama just don't like it unless it's hot. Cold. You know, some people like it hot, hot, mama. Now, sometimes mama gets hot, though. What was it the other day you said you was hot? This is called the newspaper. <laughs> this other night, I was sweating hot. I was hot, hot. She said, I'm hot. Mama, bring that over before it boils away. You got it boiling. It ain't gonna cool down that much. I see it rolling. And I'm just rough chopping these onions. I know, I know. Everything you chop, John's rough. Because you don't know any better. Yep, that's the truth. Y'all said it. Don't be out... Uh, don't be out saying, Well, John said chop it this way. Because I just chop it to it's little. I don't have the skill set for the chopping. My thing is, get to the size you want. Watch your fingers. That's what I say. Now, I've got a chopper, and I could have run this through the chopper. But y'all know me. If I'd run it through the chopper, it would be uh, onion juice. Yeah, you sure like to pull that string. Well, the string is deceiving because every time you pull it, it's 12 knife, knife cuts. So, you, one time you look at it and you think, no, it needs a little more. And you pull it two more times. Well, you've done chopped it 24 more times so one pull is a mighty powerful pull mm -hmm. so you really just need to pull it once and look at it right here these are a little big on this edge <laughs> thank you mama thank you for judging my onion qualities did you put the bouillon in there yes sir i did two bouillon cubes carrots chicken broth two bouillon cubes carrots and celery so far and here's the onions. Now y'all saw that was a medium sized sweet onion. Don't use a real strong onion if this big. Use a smaller one. Remember you're just going for flavor here. And this is going to cook down and be real soft and tender. So in the pot it goes. I know y'all probably can't see that. Trust me, it's going in the pot. Thank you, Mama. Now we're going to get our flavors in there. This is chives. Chives, chives. I know I just put onions, but I'm putting some chives in there too. Just sprinkle, sprinkle. About a good heaping table teaspoon. This is rubbing sage. What on earth? Yes. It'll give it a good flavor. And that's what you want in chicken noodle soup. It's not going to taste like dressing. Whoa. And that's a good teaspoon of that. And now we're going to put a little bit of minced garlic. Uh, I think you better, I was going to say, get that out a little at a time because that'll be, you dump that, you'll have a half a teaspoon. Putting about a half a teaspoon. Gently put in at Mama's request. Now this is Tony, Tony's Creole salt, or Creole seasoning, and I'm just going to put a sprinkle, sprinkle. This just gives it a little bit of buzz, a little throat clearing, you know, but it's not going to be hot. And Mama, what, how much chicken you got over there? I know. Well, I got quite a bit. Just dip me out some on here if you don't care. I don't, don't have to be loaded. Just enough, just enough. Of course, we're going to do the two uni the universal seasoning. A little S and P here, and this is just a shake, shake. Hey, watch your salt because I'm I didn't put much, Mom. Uh, 
What am I wanting to say? The, your one that said the bullion cubes. The bullion cubes. Okay. This is black pepper. This is good for your throat. How much of this you want? Uh, about, it's about a breast would be probably good. Black pepper. I did a shake, shake, shake a bit. Well, come on now. I know it's in pieces. It'll be all right. I'm going to chop it up. Maybe a little bit more, Mama. First, it is the start of the show. Here's the start of the show. Don't let it Cooked roll. Cooked chicken. It's been in the refrigerator. Don't let it roll. Row, row, row. It's good and moist. The moisture's just running out of it. Now I'm just chopping it up to bite size. I don't want to mince it. I'm not trying to... You know, chicken noodle soups, you want a little bite to it. So I'm not trying to make it into hamburger, chicken hamburger or nothing. They have ground turkey. Do they do. have ground chicken too? I don't know, Mama. I guess they could. Okay. In goes the chicken for the chicken noodle. Oodles of chicken in the chicken noodle. I can rake off good. You did, Mama. Now get it to boil and get that flavor going. Now, we're not going to do um, chicken. We're not going to do your typical noodles. We're doing the leftover penne pasta that we already had because we're not going to waste that. And we're not planning on doing anything with it. And that will be some good chicken. That, uh, nah, put it in there. It'll thicken that. that Pasta water will thicken it right up. Well, I'm going to put it over here on the burner because that'll slow it down so it won't know. <laughs> it's been in the refrigerator. It is cold, cold, cold. Mama is worried about that slow roll boil. We don't do that. So she's going to take it over there and drop that pasta in there that we've already had going. Now, it's got a little water in it from when we cooked it. So that, all that's going to do is add flavors. And it's going to have a little thickening agent because you get the starch off the pasta. And that's what you want. You want the soup to thicken just a little bit. And you do want it to boil good and hard. Um, so it'll do all of its things it needs to do. John, you put too many shake shake. Ah, oh, who said that? Teresa, John. One of my good friends. Teresa, are you taking mama's son? You put too many shake shakes for me. I don't like a lot of different flavors in food. Like that loud. Teresa, you and mama could eat together. Can I send her over to your house? Teresa, you don't have to put all them in there. I know I put different in there sometimes. But really I didn't put much. If you I mean a little rubbing sage garlic and a little chives and that's just onions um, and a little bit I think the original recipe called for hot pepper flakes back in the day and I substitute this for most hot pepper flakes sometimes if I'm just going to eat it I'll put the hot pepper flakes but this adds a little flavor a little heat just a little and if I want to I will put Frank's hot sauce in my bowl and I won't bother Mama with it, and that way it works out good. And then, of course, salt and pepper. So I didn't put too much in it, did I? Did I put too much in it? Surely I didn't. Hi, John and Mama. Have a great weekend. Linda, you too. Uh, good evening, John and Mama. Well, hello, Glenn. I love the flavors, but can't do onions. Um, Bonnie, that, that happens a lot. Mama don't do a lot of onions either, but now, like in this, if we cook them good and they're completely, like if you put onions in a casserole later at night, which is seven, Mama won't like it. But what she'll do is she'll eat the broth of this and not eat the chunks of onions if she don't want to. But sometimes they don't bother if they're a good sweet onion, do they, Mama? No. It's yellow onions, some red onions. It's a little bit strong on her. And when I say they bother her, they really just give her indigestion or she'll they'll repeat on her and she says, I'm belched onion. So it's not, it doesn't make her sick or make her sugar go up or anything like that. It's just a, um, you know, little stomach issue with them. Is it bullying, Mama? Not yet. Did you taste of it? No. Well, Mama, somebody's going to have to taste that mess.
Let me pull you in there just a little. I gotta see. Shaking and grooving, Dave. Yep, we're just shaking and grooving here. Yummy. Susie. Yummy, she says. I don't like heat. I don't either ton you tons of it. But I do like a little hot sauce. I would have to saute them for the onions, yeah. Sauteing would be a good thing if you wanted to put them in the soup. Don't want the you know the problem with them. Or if you want to totally avoid all that, just use onion powder. Uh, that gives you a flavor, but you don't have the raw onions. Yeah, me too. Heartburn can't do uh, bell peppers either. I can't either, Bonnie. Uh, bell peppers, cooked bell peppers make me nauseous, kind of. I just don't like the flavor of them. But now raw ones, I can handle. They don't bother me. I don't like that weird. Uh, raw onions don't bother me. Sometimes cooked onions on a pizza or something will. You'd think it'd be the opposite. Who knows? I like fried onions. Tammy, they are good. Um, I like them fried onions on sandwiches and fried onions on stuff like that. Or even fried onion rings. Hi, John and Mama from Illinois. Hey, Amy, how are you? Uh, late, what are you cooking? Hi, John and Mama. Deborah, we are fixing some homemade chicken noodle soup. Mama's cold. And uh, it's kind of a, almost feels wintry here today. It's The temperatures aren't bad. They're in the 60s, but when you look out, it's just been kind of overcast today. Kind of a little gloom. But it's been an, a nice day. It's been a good day. It's Friday. It's Friday. Friday. I know some of y'all have to work tomorrow. I apologize for being excited, but whatever day you're off, I'll be excited for you when your weekend starts. That happens when I eat green peppers. Lisa, it's just like it takes over. Uh, if it's on a pizza... All I taste is those bitter green peppers. Now, sweet peppers, I do fine with. Love fried onions also. Brandy, I like them too. And those um, fried onion rings, you fried onions you buy at the store, French's or whatever, I like them. I can't eat them too much. Like on top of casseroles and stuff. Can't go that route too much. Even Lipton onion soup sometimes and stuff kind of bothers me later. I'll end up like Mama, just eating plain and bland. But at least I've got a good experience and a good teacher. <laughs> Is it not bullying yet, Mama? No. How cool did you get it? I didn't get it cool. I believe it's that glass top, that glass top stove. It's that pasta that was in the refrigerator. Oh, you already put the pasta in. Yeah. I thought you was going to let it boil before you put it in. That's the reason it's cool. Because mm -hmm. that was cold pasta. It was cold. Hi, John and Mama. Hey, Michael. How are you? Hey, Sandra. I said Good evening, John. Well, hey, Nancy. It never get hot again. Tina, you're only off on Sundays? I used to work that shift. Yeah, it's it's a hard shift. Hello from Alabama. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Diane. How are you? Linda, how are you? Uh, do you ever have chicken and rice? Yeah. We do. In fact, I have it quite often for lunch. I get that 90-minute rice, and I take some cooked chicken, and I can make that into anything. Rice. I always say 90-minute, tell my mama. 90-second <laughs> yeah. rice, and I can make it into anything. I'll take uh, cooked chicken sometimes on Sunday, and I just put it in the refrigerator, and maybe Monday I'll put a little lemon pepper on it, or a little bit of y'all's lime pepper on it, or, and have rice, or sometimes just the chicken. I can take barbecue, put on it, Delicious. Uh, it's a good little treat. You still got this on high. It's on high, okay, ready to roll. As soon as this starts boiling again, it's getting warm. You can put barbecue sauce on it. You can put dry rub barbecue on it. You can um, put um, Frank's hot sauce on it, make it like wings, hot wings almost, the same flavor. And add a little rice to it, add, and it's so good. Uh, tuna fish sandwiches for, uh, from Sugarlands. I don't know what Texas. Hey, Jay, how are you? Tuna fish sandwiches are good. Did you ever have Georgia Hash? Now, I might have had it by a different name when you were little. We used to make sandwiches out of it. I don't know what Georgia Hash is. Now, we used to have... Um, 
hash. What do we have, Mama? Corned beef hash. Little potatoes with corned beef. Now, I don't know about Georgia hash. You'll inspire me to want. I'm going to prepare. Today's chicken noodle soup is good. Cooked vegetables and cornbread for supper. Ooh, that sounds good. Some good cooked vegetables. Mmm. I love vegetables. That pizza last night was good. Just vegetables, that's all it was. It's still not boiling, Mama. No, don't boil it. I told you it would cool and way down. That was cold. I carried it in here and it froze me to death. Mama, it's still not Quit putting it on me. Mama, if I don't chase you down, we don't get to see you, do we? Yeah. She won't bring it over here. We got a notice. Spoon over there. I'll find one over here. Um, Y'all notice how she does this. She says she's like a butterfly. I told her she's more like a housefly. Butterflies just sort of glide around. Not Mama, what she is say? moving on. Huh? Now we don't have the rights to that. I'm going to get us in trouble. We don't own the rights to that little slogan. I'm sure somebody does. Yeah. Oops, that was loud enough, John. Can you do it again any louder? I'm sorry. Loud, loud, loud. You're so... Hard to hear. Am I hard to hear, Kathy? I'm plugged in in my microphone. Am I hard to hear? Do I need to move that cutting board out? Are y'all having trouble hearing? Afternoon, rainy Oregon. Yep, Virginia, it's rainy here too. Tell Mama the wind. a watch pot net don't boil. That's right, Becky. Mama, don't no wonder that pot ain't boiling. You're over there watching it. She's quit. We had taco lasagna. Now, I've had some taco lasagna. Never made it, but I bet it's delicious. John, I rarely write a post because every time I do, I get friend requests from a man. So I'm oh. sorry I post love watching. Thank you. Um, Debbie, honestly, what you're probably getting, occasionally it's a real person. Most of the time, it's just an algorithm they set up with a robo. Because uh, I get the messages they're the same thing to everybody and um, most of the time it's a robo thing and they have it set up to respond to every comment or every third comment or every fourth comment if you just ignore them they're through with you usually just don't reply don't answer don't do anything and it's okay um, but they do they're just set up you cannot delete them fast enough you cannot you quit watching it start pulling. You can't you can't delete them enough because they're just constantly making new profiles, new profiles. And what they're hoping you'll do is respond to them or say something and then they'll start their little thing where, you know, they're needing your help. And they need you to send them a little bit of money. And then they need you to send a little bit more money. And then they really like you and it's just a scam all the way. Well mama, that looks good. Is it thickened enough for you? I don't know. I don't want it real thick. We like it about like that. We don't like real thick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a little sample of your soup. I always taste. See what you got going on there. Oh my goodness. A little How bit of this. How hot are you putting in it? Hot pepper, Mama. Hot pepper coming through. Hot pepper. I make you think hot pepper. What am I putting in there, Mama? Parsley flakes. What I put in everything? Parsley flakes. You Just got to make it look pretty. Something. Yeah, the chives make it pretty, but the parsley. That tastes absolutely delicious, folks. Tastes like chicken. Oh, it tastes like chicken noodle soup. That it, it's just wonderful. It really, really is. It's ready to eat, Mama. You reckon um, it is? Oh, I know it is. Try a carrot. There's your, your story. Carrots. Crunchy yet? Um, 
No. Not crunchy. But um, not tender. Good and tender, but just probably could be five more minutes ten, more tender. They're not crunchy at all. They're not even where you, they snap. They're just about right, really. They'll, they'll cook in the bowl that much. Are y'all ready for Sunday? Y'all know this is Palm Sunday, the Sunday before Easter. That's hard to believe. It is. It's the Sunday before Easter. You know, you, you kind of go from holiday to holiday. You know, you do Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, or Christmas, Valentine's Day, Mother's, Easter, Mother's Day, Fourth of July. They're just mounting up. It's, it's already starting. We're already starting in April. I can't really wrap my brain around it just right. It's hard to believe that we're starting in April. It's here. It's here. Mm. Tomorrow's the first day of April. Yes, ma'am. If they don't put around to change the calendar on us, oh, get your bow. Tomorrow's April Fool's Day. Is that not right? April 1st. I guess it is. Do y'all do that? And second would have been my brother's birthday. Get your bow, Mama. That's second, I guess. Um, do y'all do April Fool's? I... I guess it's okay if people do it. I don't find anything really wrong with it. I just don't use a deal. I don't know. Do y'all do April Fool's jokes? Johnny, do you get Mama any Easter lilies or orchids? Brandy, we don't. I don't get her anything like that at Easter. Um, I usually get her... Um, Easter lilies or something that we take to church, but I want juice. But Easter lilies, if you're not careful, they have that pollen in them. You okay. have to pinch that out, and we don't like it. And if we do get them, they end up on the back porch because we're both kind of allergic to that stuff. Orchids, I do get some time, but we keep orchids about all the time. Mama kept one for three years. If I run into beautiful orchids, I will get her one any time, whether it's Christmas, Easter, whatever, whenever they're out. But most of the time around here, they're out at this time of year. But I don't really get anything like that on Easter. Easter? Oh, that was Mother's Day. You'd get me a croissant. Used to, the big deal was croissants. You all remember those from Mother's Day? Everybody had to have a croissant. And if the person's mother had passed, it was a white one. If the person's mother was still alive, it was a colored one. Uh, which was a little sad. Um, and Mama would wear them, but then one year she just told me, don't feel we get me any croissants. I, I don't like it up around my face. And depending on what you get. So when it was white, sometimes you'd get something that would be... She'd have an allergy to it. So we kind of quit that. So a lot of those old traditions have, I don't know if anybody wears Easter lilies at our church, or not Easter lilies, uh, corsages on Mother's Day at our church anymore, do they, Mama? I've not noticed none in my phone. Haven't noticed them. Um, I usually, you know, I, I like to buy flowers. If I see a flower that I think Mama will like that don't have pollen in it or something, I get it about any time down Mama. Yeah, just not the lilies much. Lilies have always, and you can pinch that out, and I recommend you do. If you get a lily, even if you get a, a bouquet of flowers, and the lilies haven't bloomed yet, your florist has probably taken that center pieces of yellow out. But as soon as those new ones open up, go ahead and get you a paper towel, wet it, grab them, and pull them out, and throw that away, because that's just pure pollen. Let's bless it, Mama. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We just pray for the blessing of our bodies with it. Dear Lord, we just pray for each and every prayer request that's out there, those spoken and unspoken. Dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with us and, and, and teach us and lead us and guide us in the way you'd have us to go. Dear Lord, we ask for a hedge protection around of our children and everyone out there in the world. Dear Lord, be with our leaders. In your precious name we pray. Amen. <coughs> So when we was in the flower shop, we always pinched that out. And you can imagine, 
my allergies and been in a flower shop. But it wasn't as bad as at home because when we would pull them out of the cooler, they were cold. So when I was working on them and stuff, they would be cold most of the time. If they sit there a while, oh, then they got powerful. But um, when they're sitting on your counter, you might not realize if you're allergic to them. I remember those days. Uh, Grisages, yeah. Blessings, Mom and John. Rosemary, how are you? Hey, Rodney. Virginia says, Amen. Thank you, Virginia, for praying with us. Thank you, Faye, for praying with us. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Mm. It's uh, mm -hmm. a little warm. But is it delicious? Yeah, it tastes real good. Is it warm yet, Mama? Warm on you, my tongue. Mm, that chicken's just perfect. And the broth, those two bouillon cubes took it right to the level. Sometimes plain chicken broth, unless you put a lot of seasoning when you're cooking it, that little bit of sage, it just wakes the whole pot up. And um, that sweet onion, delicious. Uh, it's simple. It's basic. There's nothing to it. Um, but it's good. It's real good. In fact, I, I know this may sound a little crazy. And y'all going to say, he is so crazy. But like if I'm in the mood for a big Thanksgiving dinner, I can make some homemade chicken noodle soup right quick. A lot quicker, a lot easier. That little bit of sage flavor, those onions, the celery, the broth, the chicken, I go away satisfied. <coughs> and it don't taste like Thanksgiving, but it's those pl flavor profiles that are in chicken noodle soup, the homemade chicken noodle soup. Excuse me. Mama, do we need to call someone? No, I believe I'll be all right. <laughs> it's those flavor profiles in there that reminds me of it, I guess, and it kind of satisfies that. Mm -hmm. that dressing because if i have dumplings i want <laughs> dressing too yeah it's been about what four months since we've had dressing <coughs> but <coughs> mama you keep that up and i'm gonna have to call somebody that's all your spices in there oh now mama <laughs> there is no sp <laughs> It's not spicy. Is no, it spicy? It's not spicy. Mama, you, you'll have them mad at me for spicing you up. Mm hmm. It ain't a bit hot, is it? No, it's not hot that way. It's hot heat wave. Heat wave, though. Heat wave. It's delicious. I don't care if it was uh, middle of December, it wouldn't taste any better. Because it's just perfect. I believe it's going to warm me up. It feels good so far. Look in her eyes, Mama, and tell us. <laughs> Do what? Look us right in the eye and tell us. <laughs> tell us. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> what was it the other night they accused you of not telling the truth? Um, that Mama don't really like that. She's just saying that. I, I ate all I had of it in my plate. It, mm -hmm. was, a, it was that, what we had the penne pot, the penne with earlier, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. With the sauce. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> but this is awful good, too, isn't it? Yeah. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about with that Thanksgiving logic? Oh, yeah, those flavors in it. Because you've got the celery and the onions and the broth and the sage. It's got a lot of the same profile. And the chicken is just delicious in there. It's a good pot of soup, Mama. Yeah. Look how good it's boiling. Mm -hmm. You won't mind having a leftover on that, will you? No, I'll eat this tomorrow. I'll take another cold spell, I'm telling you. I'll now, Mama, it's going to be back like it was yesterday. Huh? Tomorrow's supposed to be like it was yesterday. I think it's me and not the weather, though. Are you sick? No, it's just um, medicine, I think. You got the chills? Yeah.
Mama takes the blood thinners, and they do make her go, don't they? Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not looking to be warmed up. I hope this soup don't warm me up. Well, I'm not freezing as bad as I was. I'm looking to be filled up, but not warmed up. I don't want to get hot. Oh, I don't get hot, that's for certain. Keep from chilling. Those celery leaves are in here, but they're not big, and they're all chunked up. And they just add a wonderful taste, don't they? I can eat them <clears throat> in soups and stuff. Mm-hmm. We put them in vegetable soup. Put them in beef vegetable soup. Sometimes, if, in the winter especially, we'll save up <coughs> a Tupperware container full of celery hearts with the leaves and everything on them. And it's perfect for soup. Find you something good to eat, folks. Make you a memory. It's 7.26. Friday night. If you're off work tomorrow, you've got a long time to sit up. <coughs> Are you eating too fast? I don't think so. I'm just getting choked. Is it the soup? You got time to get something done tonight. It's still daylight here. Yeah. It'll be daylight <clears throat> for another 30 minutes, I'm sure. So get out and do something this evening. <coughs> Check on your flyers. See what you need to do tomorrow. I don't know what's going. The weather going to be like where you're from, but we're supposed to have a pretty day tomorrow. <coughs> Mama's, supposed to be sunny. Mama's done got plans to clean out a building. Oh, I may back out of that. That was something you dreamed up yesterday. I know it. I told him we would, but... But now you're going to tell him we won't. I might have to tell him different tonight. <coughs> he said let him know tonight. So he can something else. So you don't want the building cleaned out now? <coughs> I want it cleaned out, but I don't know. Mama, you need some Sprite. I'm going to get me one. You want me to go get you a Sprite? Right. I want it cleaned What's out, but cord? I don't know if I want to do it or not tomorrow. Well, you don't have to do it. That's what he's going to do for you. <coughs> you want one? No, I'm good. I've got coffee. <coughs> Um, I hope Mama's not coming down with uh, cold. She's coughing, I think. She got some of that juice down the wrong pipe. And you know, once you get choked like that, you just can't get over it. That spot will clear it up. You sound better already. I do. <clears throat> Sounding better already, Mama. Oh, well, that's good. <clears throat> You're drinking a cold Sprite and hot soup. I'm drinking hot coffee and hot soup. There's something wrong with that pitcher. <clears throat> they are. You're the one cold. I gotta get you switched over to black coffee all the time. It's healthy for you. Now that panini pasta, it tastes really I good. I black coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Did you drink black coffee? Yeah. Get out of here. No. <coughs> I lied. I put creamer in it, but I drank coffee. It started out as black coffee. <laughs> I wasn't catching it. If she had said she drank a cup of black coffee this morning. <laughs> no. I just thinking about coffee. It wasn't black. You you make coffee and I drink mine. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. That was the co black coffee. I poured you some. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, folks, this is all we're going to do. We're going to sip on some soup. <clears throat> and... Call that a night in a little while. Mama's probably going to go cover up. 
I was covered up when you started filming. I had to uncover <coughs> sitting in the recliner. Whoever bought her that blanket with the roses all over it. Oh, wonderful. It's her new favorite. Now, Mama went to the post office today, and some of y'all have sent me some stuff for my birthday. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to go through it. I've got the best news. I've got some salad dressing today. i got to find out who sent that. You are just wonderful. Um, it's been a long time since I felt comfortable getting salad dressing because I was beginning to wonder, but it's back. Thank goodness. So thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for all the rest of the things I'm seeing over here. I'm going to open them up and we'll look at them tomorrow, Lord willing. And, uh, but thank you. Y'all didn't have to do that. And uh, Mama said, you got some stuff here. Y'all just took kind. Appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did see the salad. Mama says, one of those got salad dressing in it. My eyes lit up like Christmas. <laughs> I've had that one in the vault in the pantry. Locked down tight. Oh, oh. I wanted us to open it. I wanted it the other day so bad. And I said, oh, I'd love to open that. Well, that's your salad dressing, but I've got to have it <clears throat> come July for some tomatoes. I've just got to save it. There's no way I can break into it. Somebody's come to my rescue. I talked to one of my friends at the store today, this evening, and he said <clears throat> he had uh, uh, tomatoes with a tomato on it. I said, you've not. He said, well, I'll confess. He bought one at, <clears throat> is it Pruitt's down there? Uh-huh. With a little green tomato already on it. Those early girls. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he bought one of them. So he was kidding me that he already had. <laughs> Said he already had onions and lettuce, though. So. Well, if he can buy them with it on it, we'll have to buy some with it on it. <laughs> A tomato already on the vine? Mm-hmm. You know it's them big ones in the pot you buy. You heard it here first, folks. There's been a tomato sighting. What a great day. Salad dressing and a tomato <coughs> on a vine. Local. He grows a lot of stuff and <clears throat> he'll take it to the tires and the projects and gives it a lot to the older people that can't, don't uh -huh. have gardens and don't, can't get it and love it. He shares what he, he grows. And that's a wonderful person. Yeah. Well, folks, we're going to say good night or goodbye. <clears throat> Mama, you going to say good night or goodbye to me? <clears throat> good night. <laughs> oh, y'all heard it. It's, just, it's, it's nearly 8 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and say good night. <laughs> I better get a good night's sleep in case I have to work some tomorrow. <laughs> oh, there's going to be some working. It depends on, like, today it's a little overcast. Mama's like, I don't want to get out. Even though it's 60-something degrees. Tomorrow, if the sun shines, the blue skies, and... You couldn't nail her to a chair and keep her in this house tomorrow. I got out today in the rain and got wet. Oh, I just now realized I never brushed my hair. <laughs> Nothing over after being in the She's rain. running around all day. <laughs> no, I just all evening. I had a all lot, evening. I had a lot of stops and things I had to do. Talking to your friends. Mm -hmm. Folks, we're going to say goodnight again. Goodbye. Y'all have a great night. Lord, we will see you tomorrow. It's time to tell them what we'll be cooking. We might just let y'all go clean out a building with us. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you about this building. <laughs> this isn't a junk building. See my junk? There might be some junk in it. But you know what's in the whole building? It's one of those metal buildings. What is it? 15 feet wide or long by 12? I don't know. It's not real big. It's a good-sized building. It's completely full of Christmas. No, it used to be completely full of Christmas, but I took a lot of it out, and now it's got other stuff. What in stuff has it got in, Mama? Oh, it's got some stuff of your daddy's. And the last time I opened the door, it I was full of Christmas then when you was in it. Last summer, I opened the door and it was facing me, stacked boxes straight up. 
You couldn't get in. Even if you were skinny. And it was just full. And I said, Mama, what's that? That's just some Christmas decorations. Now, mind y'all, y'all ain't seen none of these decorations. My village is down there. My teddy bears. Uh, we have teddy bears every year. That's what Mama really decorated. Now, what you all have seen in the past few years with the eight or ten trees and what she shows, that is minimal. She's really downsized. I've got old and can't do as much. But that building is full of Christmas decorations that you have never seen because I've not seen them in six, seven years. So we're going to get all those out. I don't have a place to put all that stuff now. And we're going to move them to the basement. Maybe. And we're going to throw away some junk and make room for the good. Y'all have that problem. We've got stuff down there. And we here, I'm going to, I know we said goodbye. Forgive us. We've got projects in our basement. Do y'all have projects like chairs that we're going to put new webbing in? Mm -mm. Um, metal, metal things that we're going to scrape all that rust off and paint. Different things, projects, like Mama's seen a craft something and she's got this old thing down there that she's going to craft with it. No, we then probably don't even remember make, what that was. Make a table out of a no sewing machine stand. <laughs> We've I learned. Don't have room for it. We have learned to give up projects. If you don't do it right now, go buy your stuff and get it done. If you put it in the basement to do a project later, it's over with. It's over. You lose the zeal to do it, <laughs> or I do. So we're going to get rid of a bunch of stuff down there, and then we're going to put her good stuff in there, and the way we arranged it to start with, when we had the shelving pit in, and that way she can just go in there and pick what she wants, not have to worry about a building. And we're going to use the building for hoes and shovels. Could you imagine a garden shed with hoes and shovels in it instead of Christmas decorations? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I did get my Easter bunnies out. Yeah, yeah, Easter's been decorated. Everything looks pretty. All right, Mama, now we're really going. Say good night one more night, time. Mama. And y'all have a blessed night. We'll see you tomorrow, Lord Good Bella. night, Mama, and God bless you all. Bye-bye.